Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my page, Money Making Juggernaut. I'm your host, Eric Richardson. Today, we have a video that is going to stress the importance of getting in this business and helping people recover surplus funds. All right, before we get into that, make sure you guys hit that like, hit the subscribe button. You guys already know I'm coming out with content for you guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get after it. Take your money and take your house, too. Did you know that some towns in America are basically stealing people's homes. One missed property tax payment and the government can take your home, sell it, and keep all of the profits. And I'm just still in shock. Tawanda Hall was behind on her property taxes. She was on a payment plan, but she'd missed $900. She didn't expect to lose her entire $300,000 home. They took my whole house, my whole family's livelihood. And they didn't give you change. They kept it all. $286,000 more than what she owed. The county's lawyer says this practice may sound unfair. But it's also unfair to force those who pay their taxes to subsidize those who don't. I pay taxes. She's a nurse assistant. I'm on a brain trauma unit. I lift people. I bathe people. I work hard. When she found out she was going to lose her home, she wanted to pay off the debt. I went to the mayor's office. I went down to the city county building. They didn't want our money. They said no. They wanted your house. They want All right. So for those of you who do not know, this happened from a tax deed foreclosure. She lost her property due to non-payment in taxes. She probably was not getting notifications in a timely manner. <clears throat> and then also, clearly, she wasn't getting the correct notification. She only owed $900 in taxes and they foreclosed the property. She tried to pay it off. Hard, work, hard working woman. Tried to pay it off. They don't want her money. Why? Because the county is going to keep the surplus funds. This is why we must get into this business because there's a lot of people who need help. This is crazy. $100,000 house. house rather than your tax payment. They stole our home from us and from our family and it was a shock to all of us. Why isn't this illegal? I think it is illegal. I think it's unconstitutional. Christina Martin of the Pacific Legal Foundation. The government can't take more than it's owed. Exactly. This is unjust and it is unconstitutional. Martin won a similar case in Michigan Supreme Court. When it... Now this, Michigan has been kind of get exposed on what they do with the surplus funds, okay? They have a new petition that you can do if you guys know anybody in Michigan that has their property foreclosed and it's sold for a higher amount, there's a form that you can fill out and go after those surplus funds in Michigan. But surplus funds occur all over the nation. And there's a few states that are corrupt and they try to keep those funds, okay? But this, as you guys can see, this is happening everywhere. Properties are gonna get foreclosed due to non-payment in taxes, non-payment in mortgage, and there's gonna be an extra remaining amount that we can help people and essentially help their life because people are going to- He took it. an entire home over, get this, an $8 debt. The government argued there couldn't be anything more fair than informing property owners of what is going to happen, giving them time to act, and then letting them make an informed choice. Do you think if he knew he owed exactly. $8, he would have paid it? Of course. This he didn't know, and there wasn't a proper incentive to no. let him know. So the oh. government has an incentive to notify them in legalese so they can't understand it? Yes, and then they also have an incentive mm -hmm. not to work with people when they are honestly trying to pay like Tawanda Hall. We did not receive anything other than get out. Yep. Despite that Supreme Court ruling, a judge dismissed Tawanda's case because the government itself in her case did not make a profit. The town gave her home to this private company. It got the money. The government shouldn't be able to steal from its own people and then to give it over to their friends is just- How do you know that they're their friends? The company is literally run by the mayor and the city administrator. Wow. Southfield mayor Ken Cyber acknowledges the company made ten million dollars selling foreclosed houses. Ten million. The mayor Cyber, I told him if I bring the money in today, could I get my property back? He told me point blankly, no. If you bring the money in, I'll take your money and take your house too. I wanted to ask him if he personally profited but he wouldn't agree to an interview. I didn't think I was going to lose my house over $3,900. It's kind of crazy to find out how common this is in 11 states. Local governments, if you're behind on your taxes, can grab your home and keep 
much more than what you owed. Mm -hmm. Some guy comes in and says, how long will it take for you to get out? We have a client who's sleeping in her car right now. The city took her property, turned around and sold it within days of evicting her for $242,000. You have gotten three states to stop doing this. Yes, we're asking the government to stop stealing people's life savings. Yeah, good. The surplus it is often legally destroys to the lives. Previous owner and After of the Tawanda's states. home was taken, her husband did construction work to try to recover their losses. He got sick, but then kept working. He died shortly after. It was terrible just to know that he struggled trying to make it right. That's crazy. All right, guys, so what does this mean? This means that there's money that, as you heard, the counties can only keep what that was legally owed to them. That remaining profit is due to the previous owner. Now, there's only a few states where it's corrupt like this, and Michigan does have a form, but it's kind of difficult to go after those surplus funds, but it is possible. This is possible all across the nation. Foreclosed homes are occurring at a rapid rate now. Okay, people are not paying their taxes due to hardship. They're not paying their mortgage. Times are tough. But what does this mean? We can help more and more people because after their property is foreclosed, I understand times could be tough. They didn't pay, but once it's foreclosed, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so there's going to be a remaining amount that we can assist them on filing, and it doesn't require any special license, certification, any degrees. You guys can get started if you're learning. Um, if you want to learn how to operate this business, over 47 chapters, okay, going to show you exactly what I know about this business, all the documents that you need, partnership and mentorship opportunities, check out the course, use code TAKEACTION, you'll get $100 off, check it out guys.